All right, so a much, much clearer shot of the sun now. Uh, the clouds finally gave way, and of course, aside from being peppered with sunspots, it has an absolutely massive one right here, if I zoom in on it, and to try and focus it a little bit better. So you can clearly see kind of a few of them chained together. Uh, possibly south following north, uh, depending on the line where the equator is, but uh, on the right hand side you can clearly see this giant Neptune sized one. Uh, yeah. And it's actually two sunspots. Yeah, it's actually made up of two of them. Oops, a gust of wind there to blow everything around. So yeah, it's actually made of two sunspots and you can see um, the way that this thing is traveling, it's actually going more and more into the center of the sun from the line of sight of the earth. And yeah, so this, uh, you can see the two there uh, I'll have to check if they're north, the first one, the one taking the lead is a, is a south magnetic poled sunspot and the one following it could be a north one and has seemingly like a miniature one in the, in the, the middle so the sun is incredibly active if you're getting these kind of field lines crossing and this almost certainly will generate some type of increase in flare activity either a uh, C-class flare uh, or the more extreme X-class ones. So yeah, incredible to, to see uh, this and of course sunspots can get much bigger, much larger and much more chaotic uh, than this. This one you can see quite clearly even the umbra around it where, where kind of the plasma is getting more and more kind of fractured and the general convection of the, of the... So these are absolutely massive objects. It's incredible just to look at them because again they look like little islands but they're really the size of planets. Uh, the ones here are kind of small, kind of relatively small uh, sunspots. Uh, they're about the size of the Earth, about the Earth diameter, some of them even twice the Earth diameter. diameter. But this one is uh, easily about the size of Neptune yeah. and uh, this is also the edge of the Sun and it seems to be kind of fracturing uh, I was trying to look at this yesterday through the clouds uh, here in Ireland but uh, even a few about, about a day ago it was uh, it seemed much bigger at the edge of the Sun but it seems to be uh, well this is before actually I could really resolve it as two sunspots but it's uh yeah it's quite quite massive of course it can get much bigger than this uh, but this is quite still considered kind of it's not the peak of the solar cycle just yet have to zoom back out maybe to focus yeah so that's the sun itself and all of its glory but um yeah, so for a sense of scale, this sunspot here, if I zoom in on it, the one, the smaller one, uh, here, it's about the size of the Earth, and then this is probably approaching the size of Neptune, the large one there. So yeah, apologies for the shaky camera just that we do have a bit of a wind sort of like a windstorm kicking up but uh yeah not bad <laughs> 